Hello, I'm Elise Levine, Director of Sales and Marketing for Shadow Mountain Publishing, with a look at our new titles for Fall 21 and Spring 22. We'll start with historical fiction, and these books are especially relevant in our troubled times, as ordinary citizens in these books face the political and social upheavals of their generation. Beyond the Lavender Fields takes place on the eve of the French Revolution, as the two protagonists represent both sides of the conflict, the aristocracy who want to maintain the feudal system of privilege, and the workers who want to dethrone their king and create a democratic French Republic. A Brilliant Night of Stars and Ice is based on the true story of the Carpathia, one of two ships who received an urgent distress call after midnight on April 15, 1912 from RMS Titanic, and was the only ship who answered the call that night. It's told in alternating chapters from the perspective of the captain of the Carpathia and a young female passenger on Titanic. This is a thrilling and awe-inspiring story, which paints a portrait of fear and despair from the Titanic survivors waiting in the freezing waters, uncertain if any rescue would come, and a heroic and compassionate leader, his methodical preparations for rescue and his determination to act honorably and selflessly to save lives and care for the survivors. Just out from Heather B. Moore, The Slow March of Light is a 1961 Cold War drama about an American spy undercover in East Germany and a West German woman who joins a spy network to help smuggle East Germans to democratic West Germany and freedom. This author, Heather B. Moore, is particularly adroit in conveying the horrible, oppressive East German police state and the emotions of citizens willing to risk their lives and take desperate actions for themselves and others for a chance at freedom in the West. The Paper Daughters of Chinatown is new in paperback in the fall. It's a story of Chinese women who were tricked into coming to America, thinking they would wed wealthy husbands, but instead unscrupulous gangs beat them and drug them into lives of despair and prostitution at San Francisco in the 19th century. Local authorities were either corrupt or turned a blind eye but Donaldina Cameron and other social justice activists took matters into their own hands to free these women and get them legal status in America. This is a great title to better understand the wounds of past injustices to explain our current racial divisions. New in nonfiction, and the genesis for why we fought is a question many readers of nonfiction, myself included, always ask ourselves when we're reading about World War II. What would I have done in the same circumstance? These are seven largely untold stories to illustrate that World War II was fought on front lines far beyond conventional battlefields. Some were ordinary citizens like William Siebold, a German immigrant after World War I and a US citizen by World War II. When he was coerced by the Gestapo into becoming a spy in America, he instead approached the FBI and offered to become a double agent. His efforts successfully helped bring down a dangerous German spy network that was dedicated to stealing industrial secrets and sabotaging America at home. This history is in itself a civics lesson in how citizens have defended democratic values. Here's a look at some backlist nonfiction. We tend to do untold stories, which also show the human side of conflict. The three titles to the left are short chapters with microbiographies of people who were swept up in historical events. And She Stood for Freedom is about a white Southern teenager who found herself on the front lines of the civil rights movement, facing the hostility of her parents and neighbors, threatened with violence, and eventually put in the notorious Parchman prison in Mississippi on death row to teach a lesson to other whites who worked to end segregation and ensure voting rights for all citizens. Praying with the Enemy is based on the true story of an American POW whose plane ditches behind enemy lines during the Korean War. After being tortured for wartime secrets, he lies to his captors to buy some time, knowing there was little hope of making it out alive from his ordeal. A North Korean soldier who guards him is secretly a Christian in a communist country which kills or imprison any religious group they perceive as a threat to their power. The American finds an unlikely ally in his fellow Christian, and although they speak different languages, they manage to plan a plot of a daring escape for both of them for a chance at freedom in South Korea. You may know author Jason F. Wright from The Christmas Jars, which is a New York Times bestselling title, which has sold more than half a million copies 
and is a bit of a cultural phenomenon because of its message about the bonds of community. He has two books coming in spring 22. Even the Dog Knows is new fiction, which follows the breakup of a marriage as it runs parallel to the younger love story of the couple's grandson and his lost love. The book shows that at every stage of a relationship, there are ups and downs, and it often requires heartbreaking forgiveness. The title comes from the couple's dog, whose point of view is sprinkled throughout the story. He doesn't have a plan to help his humans, but he knows they need each other, and he is driven by love and loyalty to them. His observations are empathetic, insightful, and humorous. Until You Find Strength is like an extended sympathy card, helping to remind those who are grieving that they are never alone in their pain and heartache, and that even in a difficult season, there are people who want to be supportive and ready to comfort. Proper Romance Series. This is a genre which has surged in popularity, and season two of Bridgerton is coming to Netflix in 2022. These heroines are not damsels in distress awaiting rescue. They are women who have had the rug pulled out from under them. Some have emotional upheaval, some have physical challenges like alopecia. Others marry men who have issues not well understood in their day, like autism and paralysis. Their journey is first the search for self-acceptance and then the search for true and unconditional love. Our most popular series are Proper Romance Victorian and debuting in spring 22 is the first title in Proper Romance Edwardian era, where we leave the corseted world of Queen Victoria as we enter the 20th century and exciting inventions like the petrol motor car, which gave women a taste of freedom which would have scandalized their mothers. Our proper romance titles are clean content, so they are suitable for all ages. They are not bonnet romances. There's no inspirational content at all. There's all the longing, passion, and desire you'd want in romance, but there's no onstage sex. Moving on to middle grade, The Legend of the Dream Giants is a hybrid format of a full novel plus 120 graphic novel style illustrations. It's the story of Berg, an orphan giant whose mother sacrificed her own life to save him. Now his only reminders of her are in his recurring dreams of a white bear who comforts him and guides him. When he feels lonely, he risks entering villages, but with every attempt, people see his massive size and cruelly chase him away. This is a great read-alike for kids who enjoyed the one and only Ivan. Dragon Watch by Brandon Mull is a number one New York Times bestselling series and the sequel series to Fablehaven. The finale is coming in the fall, Return of the Dragon Slayers. And there's also a companion title, Legend of the Dragon Slayer, which is a visual discovery of the first ever origin story of Dragon Watch. It also has character insights from the author. And Champion's Quest is a new fantasy series about a group of kids who are transported from their hometown into a role-playing game, something like Dungeons and Dragons, where they have to overcome their real-world vulnerabilities to outwit their foes. This is a young reader's adaptation of The Rent Collector by Cameron Wright, a best-selling title which is very popular with book clubs and community-wide reading programs. It's about a woman living in abject poverty who discovers the power of literacy to transport her to the possibilities of the world outside of the garbage dump in Cambodia where she lives to a brighter future. Missing Oakley is a new fall title about two sisters, one their parents' favorite and the other feels unheard. When Oakley dies in a tragic accident, Phoebe is overwhelmed with grief and scared. She lies about how the accident happens and confronts a witness who thinks Phoebe pushed her sister into the river. The story told in first person from Phoebe's perspective explores dealing with life's hard challenges, the impact of secrets kept and lies told and finding your own voice. Trusting True North takes place during a pandemic as a girl is separated from her mother when the border closes and her father is a nurse who is busy at the hospital with people sick from the virus. Our protagonist tries to find her own cures and remedies to life's challenges which unfold along with the pandemic and she feels very alone with everyone so completely distracted by the virus. A Child of God is a picture book which conveys a comforting message from black parents to their children who see visual representations of their Christian faith, but question what it means when they don't see their skin color, 
their physical features, or their gender portrayed. In soothing verse, the father reminds his children that pictures of faith, such as angels, were drawn by someone and encourages his children to draw their own pictures so angels look like all of us. This is a gentle but highly impactful way to introduce how pervasive lack of representation is in our culture and how it affects the BIPOC community. Even though the title refers to their Christian faith, there's no scripture in the text. This is a look at some recent titles, lots of state award nominees and winners on the list. Let me highlight one title from fall of 20. Real is based on a true story of one of the co-authors, Peyton Goddard. It's about a girl with non-speaking autism who wants to go to a public school and must overcome the challenges and objections of students and their parents who don't understand autism and want her sent away to a special ed school. There's a PDF tips for inclusion from the authors, which you can find on our Edelweiss catalog. Our authors are doing virtual author appearances and there's a link on Edelweiss for each author, which takes you to an online form to make the request. Our titles are also available as eBooks to libraries on all of the usual popular platforms. Thank you.